Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and of course, what we're actually looking at here is Control. This is uh, Director Jesse Faden in her uh, executive office here in the top level of the oldest house. Don't ask about the cat ears. Uh, Jeremy's here too, of course. Everyone's friend. And, uh,. The reason we're here is because uh, I went looking through some reports in this game, and while I didn't find one that I'd been specifically alerted to, I guess I didn't find that one when I did my Let's Play, uh, I did find something I thought was useful for uh, the purposes of this Let's Play. No, that's the pause menu. Go over here to the collectibles, get into the hotline, all the way to the bottom. Here it is. On writing the manuscript, this is one of the uh, the messages sent by Alan during the events of AWE, and it's about writing in general as opposed to the specific story of AWE, so I thought it might apply here. I've written and rewritten, deconstructed, reconstructed, experimented with different voices, changed the style, changed myself, forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress. Recap, then write more. The style then. Lose the fat. Make it clear, ugly, functional, present, be blunt, only the brutal truth, cut through the reality, tear it apart, rewrite it, be clever, make them do the work, form the image in their minds, they make it, you just imply, incept, they're drawn to the mystery, obsessed, you set it up, they put it together, their interpretation, and there's only one, because you give them no choice, and they believe in it because it's theirs now. There is an intensity there that gives me pause. I feel like I feel like something about his process has changed since he's been lost in the dark place, but frankly, I don't see how it couldn't have. After 13 years getting your brains scrambled. Ah, oh, well. Let me just do this while we're here, because I have been missing the ability to do this. <laughs> Oh, Jeremy, I have missed you. Having unlimited ammo would be fucking great against the Taken. I haven't even found a rapid-fire weapon yet. Ah, well, I'm sure Jesse has uh, important directing to do for the next four years to catch up with us, so, uh... Off we go, then. Back to Alan and Saga. Ah, here we are. And look at that. We're all on the same page, temporally speaking. Yes, the very first thing I did in that session was uh, record that bit. And then promptly forgot I wasn't actually going to stick it on the beginning of the first episode, so I made reference to it. Hmm. Ah, well. Well, appropriately enough, since I'm referencing games that aren't Alan Wake 2, I wanted to give a shout-out uh, to Chris Weed, who left a comment on an episode of Let's Play Alan Wake Again from last year. And, uh says, Eternally grateful that you LP'd this game. It rules so hard, and it's the fucking scariest thing I've ever seen. Can't wait to watch the sequel when I'm done this one. And hey, hey, thank you for that. It puts a big smile on my face. And, uh, if you're hearing this, and it means you've caught up this far, hey, we're glad to have you here, too. Glad you could enjoy, uh, you know, both parts of the story. I say both, but American Nightmare does still exist, and apparently it's even still canon! Hmm, I have a bunch of health stuff in my inventory. That's probably a bad sign. Ok, 
Okay, fuck that hallway. Like in a big way. Oh, god damn it. Uh, what? There's just a fucking gun marked on the map. Hunting rifle. Okay, pretty sure I, could, I can't have both that and the, uh, the the crossbow in my inventory at the same time. That feels silly. What the fuck? How did I miss that? Oh, I can just go back there, huh? Hang on! There's another one in this room! Oh, I see. Can, right, container is anything that can open. I mean, it's empty, but... Yes, that was just a drawer in a filing cabinet. You ever notice how they're never full of files? It's always, like, useful things like ammo, health, and flares, or it's nothing. Is that the rehab room? Yeah. Why is this door locked? I can get into that hallway. Oh, that's why. It was locked from the other side. Duh. Huh. On closer examination, I think this is safety glass. It's probably a wire grid running through it. Which makes sense, you know, they use it a lot in uh, public places like hospitals and schools. Ah, right. Hmm. I'll tell you what, only because I have a shitload of them, I'm gonna use one and top off my mostly full health. I'm going to put some of them in here anyway. Yeah, I've got four pills. This will be fine. Oh, right. At least this mural doesn't have the fucking hunter in it. That was messed up. That's a large dent in the wall. I wonder how long that's been there. There's no other way into that room. Huh. No, it wasn't coming from that room. It's coming from over here. No. I can't tell where it's coming from. I guess it's just echoing in the halls. Alright, back to the creepy-ass thing. Oops. Not the dispensary. Definitely someone banging on that door from the other side, but not even very hard. Oh no, it was like directly... Yeah! Where the hell... Yes, over here. Oh, god damn it. This actually looks like kind of like the corridor from Resident Evil 1 with the infamous dog window. I mean, this game doesn't have zombie dogs in it, but it does have taken wolves. We get to the end of the corridor this time. these? Huh. They don't really have trays of boxes here. I mean, in, uh, in the public bathrooms I've seen. 
That does look exactly like the uh, the brand of uh, soap dispensers they use, though. Is that like wet wipes or something? I don't know. Is that a thing in the States? It's boxes of wet wipes? Or maybe it's like sanitary stuff, you know? Like pads and what have you. I can't really read the box. I don't think there's any words on it, just logos. Ah, another door to the security room. A security computer. No, this is the room with the gun in it. <sighs> this door needs a knob. Oh, yeah, just the hole in the fucking door. Wait, if there's no knob, you can just push it open. Hang on. Tolt necklace? I don't know. What do we got here? That's weird. It seems to be a schedule for May through August 2023, but it's, uh... It's cur in, the, in the game, it's currently, like, October or November, isn't it? No, no, no! It was, like, late September, even. Because we're building up to, uh, Deerfest. Huh. May 5th, full moon. May 12th, third quarter. May 19th, new moon. May 27th, first quarter. It's just a list of the dates that these are on. Some of them are circled, some of them are not. Let's see, 4th and 17th. No, uh, no none of those are marked there. 26th? Yeah, first, uh, 29th is circled. Damn it. Huh. Well, maybe Saga can make more sense of it than I did. Tour left through the cafeteria door. Some dates are circled. Calendar shows phases of the moon, but that's for later. Tor left the wellness center. Verified. Tor is inside wellness center. The door locked behind him. I was so close. Cafeteria door. The door is locked electronically. Maybe it's controlled remotely? Need to find the controls. Which should be in this room, actually. Maybe on that computer there. Oh. That's a weird place to put that, but okay. Nice dog. 1608. I had to take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. 1508. Hurrah! My acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. Dos vidanya to the boring old Vlad. Hello to the exciting new man about town, Vlad. I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month, everything will change. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. I mean, we do that too, I'm just saying. I even went into that earlier in the Let's Play. 1408. Bad day. This is a stupid house or something always breaks. I fix. I always fix. Old people do not respect me. I should ask for a raise. This sounds like they're trying to write it with a Russian accent. Except they slipped up and put a THE in there. Hello to THE exciting new man about town. Except for hello to exciting new man about town, Vlad. That was a thing I heard that, uh... One of the peculiarities of, uh, the Russian accent... Is that they don't have an equivalent word to the, so they just skip it in English sentences. They might have been out to, you know, they might have been bullshitting me for all I know, but I'm just saying what I had heard. What do we got here? The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult, they're its damn leaders. Oh. Vladimir Bloom, or sorry, Blum, that's how they pronounced it, the other people pronounced it. You have been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. As such, you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next new moon, as is tradition. The Cult of the Tree welcomes you. Yako and Ilmo Koskela. There's no date on it. 
There's clearly a puzzle involving the, uh, the, the, the chart just back there. The day after the next new moon, when there's no moon in the sky. Needs a password. And a right. warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. I like the acknowledgement in that. The question is, when the fuck was the letter sent? Oh! Oh! Yeah, the acceptance letter arrived on August 15th. See, that I, I parsed immediately. Wait, what? Day after the next new moon. Okay, I guess that's the, uh... Oh, look at that. He has circled the 17th. Fucking... 1708. Good thing they didn't update the fucking calendar for several months. Zero... Eight. 23? Aha! Marshal Security, Control, and Beyond. I see what they did there. The head of security for the uh, Federal Bureau of Control in Control had the surname Marshal. I don't remember what her first name was. Uh, let's see. Security door lock, CCTVs, medical wing alarm. I guess I can turn them all off. Unlock door. And the doors are open. I was expecting something to kick a door open and run screaming through the hallways at me, but hey. I can't actually turn off the, t the uh, cameras or the uh, medical wing alarm. But they do have a mail section. Let's see. VIP recruits from Kalevala Knights to Vladimir Blum. Uh, August 9th, 2023, 9.10 a.m. Vladimir, I do not need to remind you that Tor and Odin would be ideal cult candidates for the cult. Please try harder to recruit them. And again, they're just fucking calling it the cult. Riddle for your rifle. Why, uh, from Vladimir Blum to Valhalla staff and residents. You, Vlad, Rose, Donna, and four others. Uh, I guess that included himself. Huh. That's why it's in here. October 9th, 2023, so I guess it is uh, later than September. Why did you take the door... Wait, no. No, 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 no. Sorry, yes, I, for I forgot because of what we just did. This is on the computer system, so it is probably still month 1st, in which case that's uh, September 10th, not October 9th. <clears throat> My bad. Why did you take the doorknob to my personal room? I am sick of old people tricks. You bring it back so I can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. V. Bloom. Uh, Blum, sorry. I keep thinking of Steve Bloom, the voice actor. Re riddle for your rifle, your doorknob. <laughs> From unknown sender to Vladimir Blum, September 10th, 2023, 8.22 a.m. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet, inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. So it's in the reception desk uh, square thing. I saw flowers in there, and it was bright, and it was a cage. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. This is a media file, though. This is not live. September 14th, 2024. Uh, 3, sorry. Thursday. Is anyone else expecting that to end of the Cynthia jump scare? More pictures of a dog. And more pictures of a dog. Well, hey, the guy loves his dog. We can't blame him. That's a good sign. 
Yeah, in there. Flowers. How the fuck do I actually... Oh, look at that! This door is open suddenly. Employees only. This means you. Or, sorry, thank you. We have warm coffee to warm up your heart. If you... What is it? I can't read that word. If you uh, could. Oh, this is a really, really dismal room. Fuck. Kind of a nice TV, though. Is this like the, um, the staff lounge or something? Precisely. I even used the right term! Look at that! I just thought it was going to be lounge or staff room, but it was both staff lounge! Huh! I was just hedging my bets. You think I remembered that shit from earlier? All those labels? Fruit basket with only two fruits inside. Cauldron Lake closed. Right Falls record. Oh! Uh, that kind of reminds me. It was, uh... Yes! That's what it was. The, uh... The, uh, Federal Bureau of Control agent we met who arrested Alan and, uh, uh Ilmo. Shout out to El Elthwar, who says, Since Agent Kieran Estevez was the one who captured Hartman in control, you know, they I guess they mentioned her name in some files, uh, I think we can count on her being able to fight off the Taken and at least delay some of the Dark Presence's plans. Plus, if the Allen in Bright Falls is or has scratch inside of his head, then maybe having some guards uh, wary of potential peri-utilitarian powers won't go too badly. This is, of course, all a very optimistic take on the blunt, very blunt actions of a group that most likely doesn't fully grasp what kind of threat they are dealing with yet. And, I mean, notably, uh, Hartman was already a Taken when he was, uh, you know, taken into custody by the, uh, the Bureau. A doorknob! Yeah, he he, they took away his research, and he became so desperate to fi to find a connection to to it, that he dove into Cauldron Lake and attempted to swim to the bottom and make contact with the Dark Presence, which he did not understand in any way, shape, or form was a force of pure evil. You know, he's one of those oh, I'm a rationalist. There's no such thing as pure evil types. And. uh... So he got taken and spat back out. And almost immediately after that, it, it was captured. Yeah, the thing that used to be Hartman was captured and put in a cell in the oldest house. And it stayed there until the Hiss invasion when it merged with the Hiss and became the boss of AWE, the third thing. But the, uh, the timer has gone. So, uh... I'm going to call it. I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when we continue exploring the Wellness Center, which doesn't seem to be very well at all. And, uh... Try and get to Tor before the darkness does. Till then, have yourselves a great day, and stay in the light.